Here we have an AI segmentation. With ease in Blender for Dental, we are able to now place these implants in the exact correct position. In fact, we have a fantastic visualization of where the adjacent teeth and the root structures are. Of course, this has to be confirmed with a CT diacom scan, but once this is done and you're satisfied with the position of the implants, we will focus on making the sleeves. Go to the guide sleeves and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the safety zones and we're going to start the procedure. You'll notice everything else has been hidden away because we are focusing above the surface. Select one of the cylinders and we're going to click on this button. Select on confirm. Notice how the original sleeve has snapped itself to the point zero position which is the top of the implant head. We're going to now key in the diameter of our hole. Five by five. This may vary depending on your diameter of the hole. Next we can determine where the offset is. So with each click it will move in, in increments of 0 0.5 millimeters giving us fantastic control of the offset. If you do know the offset, key it in over here. In this instance it will be 10 millimeters. Now we have to check the sleeve if it is correct and we have enough thickness around it because when we are printing a sleeve we need to make sure we've got enough material. In this case I'm going to use the S key to scale it to make put, put more material around it. It doesn't have to be circular in shape. We can do S, Y and we can make it oblong in shape. This can give us an added advantage because then we do not lose the timing notch for visualization because when we're making a guide that may get covered. After that we're going to focus on making the hole. Click Edit Drill Clearance. This is going to give us a 0 0.1 clearance around this cylinder. If you find your drills to be too tight, this is where you're going to change it. So if I put 0 0.2, it'll add 0 0.2 on either side. For this example, we're going to keep it to 0 0.1. Also, if you do have a metal sleeve that requires a certain diameter, make sure you get the diameter correct and we're going to apply that. Next, make hole in sleeve. With this one we're going to do the more automatic way of doing it. Same thing, key in your diameter. We're going to set this at 10 as beforehand and I'm going to scale this up because this sleeve is too thin. S to scale and S Y to make it a bit longer. Then we're going to auto finish sleeve which is going to punch a hole straight through it. From here we're going to proceed to make our guide.